Welcome, 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 I said welcome back. I don't know if you're dealing with Kata, because welcome back, Kata, just took me back. Yeah, okay, I was going to start over, but I'm not. So, Capricorn, week three, June. You're going to see my face this week because people are taking my content, okay? So, Spirit would take care of it. I'm not really worried about it. I appreciate that you like my content, okay? But it's, it's mine. It's ours, okay? So, there's that. So, Capricorn, week three, my little lovelies. Lovely, lovely, say that you love me. Capricorn, my little Capricorns, my little Leprechaun ones. Empress. Okay, here's the deal. That's come out in all of Earth. So you're, you're holding yourself at freaking high standards, Cappies. By the Swords. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. The Moon. Seven of Cups. Okay. Whew. That's a little heavy. Empress, holding yourself high standards. Somebody wants to win at all costs here. That is for sure. There could be an argument. I don't think so, though. I mean, there could be, but, like, I don't think that's the bigger picture. Queen of Cups. Knight of Swords. The Moon and the Seven of Cups together is a whole lot. Okay? So you might be in... This might be regarding the full moon that's coming up in a couple days. I don't, I don't really see confusion, um, but that's that's heavy. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I don't like honestly. Don't worry about it. I'm a cappy moon, and I don't know if that's your moon or it's just the moon. It's like great. I just thought about me for a minute. Like, oh, watch over me, please. Because that's, that's a whole lot. <sighs> Somebody's watching you. It could be at work with the Empress sitting here. It just... <sighs> Neighborhood, I don't know. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Pisces. Taurus. I don't know if there's a little rivalry here. Someone definitely wants to, like, caress you. So it's it's calm. I do feel like you're mirroring somebody. I don't feel like something's being hidden from you. I, I, I feel like you're keeping your options open even though... Are you daydreaming here? You have a masculine that could be daydreaming about you. If you're the feminine, you're definitely submissive. I don't, see, I don't, well, I don't sexual energy here. I don't want your readings to be about that though. Um, that song came to me again. Sexual seduction. You're just, you're holding yourself at high standards. That is for sure. You're loving it. You're loving yourself. You're nurturing yourself. You're taking care of yourself. I think this is more options. Wants to give me two. Nine of, okay, you got two nines here. Two ninety-nine. Um, The nine of wands and the nine of swords. So you could be having some sleepless nights regarding something. I do feel like somebody else is stressing out that you might be with someone else, giving it to someone else. So that's, that's a strong message for somebody. Somebody thinks you're giving it to someone else. Um, it's 
spiritual meaning of 99? It's basically telling you to get to work on your soul, your soul mission, whatever you're doing, especially if you're a light worker, benefiting humanity, have faith, have trust. Certain aspects of your life are coming to a close. It's a cycle coming to a close, coming to an end. Trust that what's happening is for karmic reasons, which will soon be evident in the very near future. Do not fear as you are preparing for something wonderful. And for some of you, it's a new life, a new lifestyle. It's about to fall into place in the positive ways. These endings are clearing you to be where you need to be, especially your soul's destiny. Something's faded with all my earth signs this week. The Empress keeps coming out as fate. I will tell you right now, somebody thinks you're keeping your options open, okay? And uh, they're not liking it. Oh, you're not liking it. Well, it's not one or the other, actually. Because to me, it's, they're not liking it. Or whoever's watching, cross-watching you. It, it really depends on who's watching. Because the Empress is holding herself at very high standards, right? Somebody wants to have a conversation with you. Very intense conversation. So, or they don't want it to be intense. It just ends up being intense. So, I don't think you're waiting. You're just, you're doing your thing. You're very loving. You're very nurturing. You're very submissive with this energy, or they are with you. It's mirroring energy. I do feel like you're keeping your options open, though. I'm not going to lie to you. But I will tell you, this is somebody else. Like, what the fuck? Are they sleeping with somebody else? Like, what is going on? Let me see the moon real quick. Four pence again see it's like mirroring but not but like holding back it's only it's only a matter of time this energy is not going to continue to hold back again look how like this man is all over this woman in each card the man is all over the woman the man is kissing caressing touching fantasizing wanting more wanting to play all over the woman all over the woman, all over the woman, all over the women, all over the women. Holy shit. I'm telling you, if there's jealousy here, somebody's going to lose their shit thinking that you're being this way with somebody else. So this is probably somebody you already have been with. And they're like, why the fuck is, is this person holding back? Like, what's going down? What's going down? So you got somebody all like, what the fuck? I mean, this could be... Um, ooh, careful. I almost said cyber sex. I'm not, it's not cyber sex. I was thinking of it. It's um, astro sex. So I don't... Or it's masturbation. Very sexual read for you guys. They'll be thinking about you. But I think you'd be doing the same thing. One more than the other, for sure. Because the Empress is just whew, taking care of her right here. All right, Caps. Let's see what animal's coming in for you. Capricorn. Holy shit and balls. I was going to say, <sighs> this is how spirit works, guys. The elephant, again. I was going to say Taurus had it, and then I was like, all right, Virgo had it too. I'm like, eh, all right, like no big deal. Well, bam, you see me do it right in front of you guys, okay? So something, again, is faded. There is an obstacle that needs to be cleared. A lot of people are going to question, well, in Taurus, you said past, past, um, come is cleared and this, that, and you didn't talk about obstacles or obstacles. Well, I just shut myself short. It doesn't, the extended is live. Okay. So you can see why I labeled it the way I did because the Phoenix came out. Okay. 
So Patreon, I will pull another one for you guys, but holy shit and balls. It, it almost like I knew what was going to happen, but I didn't want to call it out. It, it's, I felt it. You could be dealing with fire or you guys are coming in as fire. It's the fire situation. Okay. All right. Unstoppable. The elephant is the most auspicious figure in the deck, like Ganesha. The elephant represents immersed wisdom and good fortune. It is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles. If so, when this card appeals, appears, you might feel stuck. Rest assured that your path will soon become clear. So there could be a little confusion, but I, I think this is more negativity. If it's not you, it's them, okay? Um, to add to the mystery, the elephant is known as the creator is known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. This empress keeps coming out, so I don't know if she's teaching lessons or what you guys are doing, but you're doing something right, okay? Trust this gentle, noble creature. It will eliminate the way you see light of self-knowledge. When you're in balance, you're on point, you're focused, you're generous, you're loving, okay? That is the empress. When you're out of balance, misunderstood fate. To bring into balance, you must trust. Okay, so oh, holy shit and balls, cabbies. Continue to hold yourself in high standards. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. You wanna, you wanna, you know. I feel like you're more like whew, whatever you have with somebody. Let them nurture you. Let them take care of you. Let them do this. I. For some of you, I'm telling you, like, if there's any confusion, I don't really see confusion, but if there is a competition, like, I wouldn't, there's no competition with the Empress sitting right here. Zero. To me, this is somebody else that's stressing out, but this is also an ending, okay? So, this is an obstacle, again, being cleared. This is somebody who most definitely doesn't want to see you with somebody, but 99 is an ending to have a brand new situation, a brand new life. But, like, the elephant is beast mode. And I don't... The Empress is usually beast mode, like you can't fuck with her if you wanted to, but she's also very, ooh, I just submissive. The Empress, right, would be more um, dominating, but is is allowing, so her vul she's vulnerable because she's allowing this to be a submissive situation this week whether you're intimate or not so you're not so I don't think you're vulnerable per se right now I think you're strong right but if there will be intimacy if there is intimacy or something comes together when it comes together because something is faded and it's going to start taking place it will be a submissive vulnerable type energy I think you're more like go ahead explore Because the Empress is very secure, very confident. Again, there might be some jealousy, so be careful. There might be an argument. But to me, you would just dismiss it. Because you're not going to argue with nobody. You know? Wow. I love you guys. I'll see you on Patreon. Have a kick-ass week. Bye.